good. I had some ups and downs in training coming into here, so to be able to match what I've been doing the rest of the season is pretty good. The week before the week of Mesa was just phenomenal. Just really crushed it. Probably tired myself out a little bit, which is why that 400 was a little slower than normal. Um, really surprised myself with the best time the next day with that eight, with that 1500, which was pretty cool. Um, the week after Mesa, I sprained my ankle doing some dry land stuff. Had to do like two weeks of like rehab, no kick, all pull, just trying to fix things. And then I wanted to rest for this meet, so I started coming down, and then I got sick. <laughs> Still getting over it. I am, and. Uh, so the rest and the, the illness kind of balanced out, which is probably why I'm about neutral with the times so far. I mean, another best time in the 1500, which is awesome. So I'll keep building off that and looking forward to a good 800 tomorrow. It's a real easy one hour drive. I've got my car here, you know, I, I can park on the, the campus. Um, no travel, which is pretty easy. And uh, it's a good time of the season, you know, it's hard to go from a December taper to an August taper that long. I know I'm not tapering in the middle of the season, but it's nice to be able to get a little rest, come down, and not just grind for like nine months. <laughs> yeah, well, but you didn't shave. No, no, no shave, no shave. And like, it's maybe not even close, maybe a half taper. You know, there's it's a little rest, the volume stays the same, it's just we'll bring down the intensity a little bit so we feel a little more fresh. I'd still stick with the 400. I, I've got that one down. I know how to race that, and I'm still really fine-tuning that. Um, the 1500 and the 800 are still kind of open. I'm negative splitting my races, which is unusual for me, and that just shows the work is paying off. But So I still got some work to do with race strategy and how to get out fast for those ones, but it's coming along phenomenal. I mean, it's great. It, all of us are bouncing around a little different. You know, We got Zach and Blake doing a little more sprint-oriented stuff. Marwan's in the middle. I'm doing a lot more long-distance stuff. But at least two, maybe three times a week, we all come together for sets, and it just, it's just, it's horrible. <laughs> trying to trying to have a good workout, because someone's always on, and it's just, it's ruthless, you know? But I, I know, it's funny, like, coming into a meet like this, it's like me and Blake and Tuner Free, me and Marwan in the 400, we'll probably battle it out again in the 800 Free, you know? It's, it's funny knowing race strategy and stuff like that, but it's knowing that, like, hey, we do this every day. It ain't no different coming into a big meet. Blake was talking about one, I think, yesterday. Um, we had a really good one, and we usually do tuner free pace stuff on Saturdays, pretty pretty standard. And we'll, we line up our freestylers all going first, you know, like Blake said, Blake, me, Zach, uh, Mohammed, Marwan, Vinny Lanza get in there, and it just, we fill up all the lanes, and we just, like I said, if anyone's having a good day, we put we throw them in the middle, and we all try and chase them. So it's really good work. Yeah, that's a really broad question, you know. Um, racing, it depends, you know, with the sprints, the distances. I've got no power off the walls to keep up with guys like Blake 129 in a 200-yard freestyle. So as far as like 200, 500, 400 kind of stuff, I prefer the long course stuff. But once we get to the longer stuff, you know, I, I've got good turns as far as the distance summers go, so I prefer the short course for that. Um, Training-wise, I we've I've made the transition real easily from to, to long course because all obviously the NCAA guys are taking their time. Um, jumping into a new season kind of thing, but I made the transition really well and jumped right on that, so. I, 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 I like the transition, you always hate it when you make the switch, switching all your sets to long course, but once you get into it, you're like, okay, now we're rolling and I'm ready to go. Yeah, do you think your, uh, your success in December, do you think that kind of lit a fire under all the college guys? So if uh, you can go that fast, then we can have a good meet too. I figured it would open the door, you know, kind of like the four minute mile, uh, on, on track, you know, I figured a few guys would see that and be like, "All right, if Zane can do that, I can do that." So I even expect I expected NCAA's to be a little bit faster for those distance races, but I know that I know that people aren't looking at me thinking, "Oh, Zane's so much better than me," kind of thing. They're thinking, "If he can do it, I can do it." And I and I hope that door is open for more people to come busting down those those times. And I know it's motivating me to try and stay ahead. Well, Wednesdays are our distance practices. Like, definitely our miler people have our own workout um, separate. We call it challenge set. And uh, those are easily five to 6,000 yards a piece. We're just now starting to get into the long course challenge sets. So those will those will probably stay around five or 6,000 meters. Uh, practices will just stay around nine to 10,000 on those days. But, I mean, any, any workout any week for those Wednesdays will be about 6,000. So that's about as long as we'll go.